Andrew Zolli, Resilience, Why Things Bounce Back Ever wondered why some systems endure the test of time while others crumble under stress? Resilience, Why Things Bounce Back by Andrew Zolli delves into the intricate world of complex systems, examining the factors that make them vulnerable to disruption and discovering the traits that promote resilience. By exploring diverse fields such as biology, game theory, mindfulness meditation, urbanization, and leadership, readers will gain valuable insights into developing resilient and adaptable societal and personal structures, and better comprehend the changing nature of systems in our interwoven world. The Power of Resilience The interdependence of economic, environmental, and social systems complicates their stability in security. Developing resilient systems is the solution to preventing catastrophic events. Resilient systems have the ability to adapt, respond and recover from external changes due to tight feedback mechanisms. Understanding the field of resilience is crucial to defining what traits foster resilience in systems and what makes them vulnerable to disruptions. Determining how cooperation evolved in living beings helps to unravel the mystery of resilience. The solution is not to gather more information but to build more adaptable and responsive systems. Resilience in complex systems. The concept of robust yet fragile, RYF, explains that complex systems can be resilient in the face of anticipated dangers, but fragile when met with unanticipated threats. The key to resilience in such systems is finding the right balance between factors like connectivity, diversity, and coupling. From the internet to terror networks, networks use sensing, scaling, and swarming tactics to increase their resilience. Resilient systems also employ tight feedback mechanisms to detect abrupt changes or critical thresholds. An efficient way to make systems more resilient is to group together widely varied people. Cooperation and trust are crucial for resilience, and the winning strategy proposed in the Prisoner's Dilemma tournament is tit for tat. Building resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back after a traumatic event. The Holocaust survivors show that some individuals can be intensely scarred while others form functional personalities after undergoing severe trauma. Resilience comes from creating meaningful purpose, shaping your life as you wish, and learning from positive and negative experiences. People handle risk by compensating in other areas of their lives, resulting in reactive risk-taking. Risk compensation is a widespread act of seeking balance or risk homeostasis. Personal resilience is linked to optimistic and confident characteristics. Traits like ego control are connected to religious faith and delay gratification, contributing to resilience and hardiness. One way individuals can become more resilient is through mindfulness meditation. The practice guides individuals to learn how to detach and show compassion to their thoughts, leading to reduced stress and better responses to trauma. Resilience must continually be refreshed and recommitted to as it guarantees not certainty but another day and another chance. The Power of Middle-Out Leadership Middle-Out Leadership is the key to building resilient social systems and organizations. Unlike top-down or grassroots approaches, this style of leadership involves connecting with stakeholders at all levels of an organization's hierarchy. Translational leaders use their embedded knowledge to form a bridge between those in power and those who might go unheard. As social connections expand, the bandwidth we can commit to each of those connections becomes limited, and the information that comes across them gets weaker. The work of Noah Idekong in Palau provides a good example of how external factors can destroy traditional authority and disrupt a system. By opening up a dialogue among stakeholders, Idekong was able to translate traditional conservation activities into legislation, creating a new system that works for all parties involved. It is essential to have leaders who are knowledgeable about how a system works and the different stakeholder groups involved. Using middle-out leadership allows for resilient and sustainable social systems that work for everyone. Changing behaviors through focused local knowledge Effective agencies in a community leverage accurate and personal local knowledge to address and solve problems, as exemplified by Ceasefire, a violence prevention program in Chicago. 
Unlike the everything myth of improving all aspects of patient life and care to address an infection such as malaria, ceasefire zeroed in on producing a precise intervention to change behavior by interrupting violence contagion and providing social support. Ceasefire maintains a good social map, tracks those vulnerable to violence, models nonviolence, teaches skills and concepts that help people live without violence, and reinforces new community norms all to prevent shootings. The Essential Qualities of Resilience Resilient systems strike a balance between connectivity and diversity and require strategic looseness for flexibility. They build structures but remain adaptable to change. Adhocracies provide social structures that support resilience by allowing flexible adaptation while maintaining core values and purposes. The culmination of Zali's exploration of resilience is the revelation that strategic balance is the key to endurance. By striking the perfect equilibrium between connections and isolation, diversity, and adaptation, resilient systems continue to evolve and bounce back from challenges. Moreover, mindful and responsive leadership rooted in translational strategies fosters the resilience of communities and organizations. Highlighting the importance of connection yet cautious disengagement when necessary, this book invites readers to apply these insights to their lives and become capable of navigating the ever-changing tides of our interdependent world. Embrace resilience and maximize your potential to bounce back, no matter what life throws your way.